Hi there and welcome to this video. In this video we are going to be creating one of the products that I went through in my most recent Easter unsaturated products video. If you want a link to that I'm going to leave it in the description but we're just going to go ahead and create one of them that I found that has been particularly high demand but low competition. So just doing some quick validation, I did validate it in the previous video. In order to do a quick validation, I'm just going to open up a couple of these listings and we, we can immediately see that this particular listing, we've got six designs here and it is in 20 plus baskets with several reviews letting us know that this particular product is making sales. We have this one is in seven baskets again with reviews and we can see that there are three different pages to be downloaded. This one has had 14 views in the last 24 hours alone. And then when we move on over to Allura, is, which is the tool that I use to further validate these niches, we can see that Bunny Bucks um, has a search volume of 1000 with a very low competition of only 738, a high conversion rate of 7%, and then a high overall score of 78. If you then go ahead to look at similar keywords, this is going to be a great place for you to look at keywords that you can either put in your title, your tag, or your description, as well as other ideas for similar products within this niche. So that was just a quick overview of this particular bunny box and why I'm choosing this one as the product that we are going to create in this video. So now obviously you can follow along with me. Um, I'm going to be creating this in Canva. Um, but if you just want to watch and you just want to gain access, immediate access to this particular template, then you might want to think about joining my $9 a month membership in which I create and upload um, in order for you to use in your business four different digital products each and every month, along with a training on how you can also repurpose one of those products into something else. It is super high value. The products that you're getting, I put in a lot of energy to create. They are high quality and they're going to look great within your own Etsy store or wherever you sell online. All you will need to do is make a few edits to it to make it more um, individual to you. And then you are off and away. So um, if you want to gain access to what we create today, then definitely join my membership. So let's move on now. Okay, so here we are in Canva. We're going to click create a design. We're going to go to custom size and I'm going to have this as a landscape um, type download. So Canva has pre-populated some of the recent sizes that I've used. And um, so, but what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the width will be 11 and the height will be 8.5. We're going to click create a new design. And then that has created it in our screen, our canvas here. So I'm thinking of doing um, about three, three, three designs on this side and three on this side. So just two columns of three. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to click L and then I'm going to extend that to the top of the page and down to the bottom. I'm also going to just make this line a lot thinner and also going to make it dotted too. Then I'm going to copy this one and paste it, turn it horizontal so that it's 180 degrees as well. Oops, it doesn't want to pay ball with me right now. And then just make sure this is in the center. Just extend it out. Actually, I'm going to put that up there and then copy and paste. I'm going to copy and paste this line in order to then have our three sets of, of bunny bucks now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to elements. I'm going to type in frame. I'm going to just get this square frame here. Just going to resize it and then just place it in here. I'm going to copy and paste that again. Maybe I'll make it a bit bigger. And then just delete this one, copy and paste, and then copy and paste again and bring it down into this. And then I'm just going to select all of these. So I've just clicked the shift button and then clicked each box. And now I'm going to click um, command C. So I'm using an apple. So um, your different um, symbols might be different. And I'm going to just click command V and then that paste that and then just bring it over into this side and make sure it's all aligned. Now I'm going to find a really nice, cute kind of um, Easter themed background. So I'm just going to type in Easter and then um, I want to make sure that they are free. So I'm going to go to price and make sure it's free. And then I'm going to say Easter background, actually. And then let's see what we have in graphics. So we want something that's quite colorful, um, maybe um, uh, maybe even kind of pastel themed, something that definitely alludes to that Easter vibe. And this is going to create the border for our design. So we could use something like this. And all you do is you just drag and drop that into place. I'm just going to drag and drop a couple and then see which one I prefer. So I'm not seeing very many different 
kind of backgrounds that really catch my eye. So I'm going to just do a different type of search here. Um, maybe a spring background might be better. I quite like the colours there, but I kind of want it to be more uniformed. This is quite cute. That might be nice. Or maybe even a kind of checkered background. Um, I think you might call it plaid um, background. So these are quite nice. I think this would be quite nice. Um, something like that would be nice in the back. And then maybe a different version of it. And maybe something like this as well. So I'm going to actually remove those ones. I quite like this. So we'll just go with this. I'm just going to drag and drop those and then drag and drop those. Okay, now I kind of want a white border. So this is the border style. So I'm going to go back to elements. I'm going to go to shapes. I'm going to make that shape white. I also want it to have a border. So I'm going to click this border style, make sure that that's there, make the weight one, and then just pull it across. Now I'm going to click copy and paste, and then I'm just going to paste those into play. And then I'm going to select them all again, copy and paste, and bring it across into the other design. Okay, I'm actually going to change the color of this. Oops, no, not that. I'm actually going to change the color of the border to something that is more in alignment with the colors within the design. And then I'm going to change this one to purple, I think. Um, as you can see, um, Canva has done a good job of picking out the colors that are already in the design. So I'm just going to those colors there. Okay, so now we've got our initial framework for our design. So next I'm going to click T for text and I'm going to type in bunny box. I'm going to put that at the top of our design there. I'm going to copy and paste. And I think I might actually have a bunny here as well. So let's type that in, make sure it's free again. Um, just want a, I quite like these, so I'm going to just make them a bit smaller and then put them on either side of the bunny butts word. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just send this position this backwards a bit so that I can then pull these. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select each one and then group them all together. I'm going to delete that. And now I can copy them as a group and put them where I want them, copy and paste them where I want them. And then I'm going to copy all of those again and then paste and bring it over. It's just those little kind of shortcuts that make your design process a just a lot more streamlined. So I'm actually going to bring that down slightly, each of them, so they're not knocking their heads at the top. Um, we'll change out the, the kind of font once we have created the whole design. And then what we'll do is I'm going to click T for text again, and I'm just going to type in redeem for, and then I'm going to put that underneath, make it slightly smaller. And then I'm going to copy and paste. And then this is where the kind of the redemption, whatever that might be. So maybe um, a picnic, maybe extra, if it's for kids, maybe extra screen time, 30 minutes, extra screen time. I'm going to just place that. And we're going to just, and we're going to just place that bit further down. And maybe we want to make that a bit bigger so it really stands out. And then I'm going to just copy and paste that. And down here, I'm going to say happy Easter. Um, Happy Easter. And then I might click T for text again, make that really small. And it's just going to say redeem by. And then, and then here I might say, so sign by. And then I might put the Easter bunny. And that's quite cute there. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just change out some of these fonts. So I think for the bunny box, we want that kind of quite kind of corporate or kind of serious looking, I guess. So let's click corporate there let's see what we have something yep I like that so we are I'm gonna I'm not gonna change I'm not gonna choose change all but what I'm actually gonna do is I'm going to ungroup this just so that this has more space I'm gonna position this to the front again and just make it slightly bigger and then make these bunnies slightly bigger too okay and now I'm gonna make this maybe more um handwritten font something quite fun or something you know, like that a, a child can relate to and also read quite well. I actually quite like that because this is aimed at kids. So we want something that is child friendly. So, and then I'm going to just actually make that a bit bigger. And then it will be good to have something again, quite bold here. So maybe we'll go back to this. So chunk five. So let's just go here and choose this one again and then change that. And then maybe we want to change this one but then where it says signed by we want to change the the easter bunny to maybe a different type of of font there so i'm actually going to remove that i'm going to copy make it smaller and i'm going to copy and paste and then i'm just going to type in 
the Easter Bunny extend it and then I'm going to choose like more of a handwritten font for the Easter Bunny just something that makes it look like the Easter Bunny really wrote it I mean I quite like this I think that will work and then maybe we might just want to put that there and then make sure it's all and then redeem by we could um that could be something that the parent can type in there so we just put that there and then happy Easter there so what I might do now is I might just make everything a slightly bit bigger and then I will come back to you once I've completed this design and show you what we're going to do next okay so I am back and we've made I've made some kind of amendments to this given it's a pop of color and just move things around so that they look really cute so now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to just delete these here and I'm going to just click the shift button again and just choose all the bits that I want to be able to then copy and paste into the next design so I've just copied that I'm going to actually group them and now copy and paste bring that down put it where it needs to be paste again and then I'm going to do the same over here so I'm just going to remove that so as you can see Sometimes the, you know, you, you will iterate and you will make a design and you're going to make different changes and then move things around. But just knowing some of those shortcuts can then help it to be, to come together quicker and more, you know, in a more dynamic way. So now um, we have, all I'm going to do now is I'm just going to change this blue to the purple that matches this design. I'm going to leave that as yellow. I'm going to just change that purple. And then I'm going to change this to purple as well. And then all you do is just put a different type of redemption voucher. So we've got 30 minutes extra screen time. Um, I'm going to put cinema trip here. And then I'm going to put um, picnic in the park. And then I'm going to put um, um, a trip to the ice cream parlor. And then you can see that that's now moved down. So all I would then do is just ungroup all of that and then just move things up slightly. Um, maybe we put a trip to the um, zoo. I'm just making things up here, but you know, you would put, put down whatever it is that you, you want to add in there. Um, maybe lastly, lastly, maybe a movie night. And so now, as you can see, these are some really cute designs, really colorful, really playful. We are definitely embodying that Easter bunny bucks theming. Um, you can then just duplicate this page and then add in um, some additional um, kind of things to do, redemption vouchers or anything else that you want to add in there to make them really unique and really cute. But this is a really lovely design. It's definitely going to be in line with the designs that we're seeing on this first page of Etsy. So we have come to the end of this video. Like I said before, if you want access to this ready-made template, then definitely have a look at my $9 membership because you will get it in there immediately. And um, But if you don't, then I hope you followed along and gotten a lot of value from this. Please do not hesitate to leave um, any questions in the description below. And until next time, all the very best.